Hey there, it's Chrissy Key Rollins here, and I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about beginning to pay attention to, understanding, utilizing, leveraging, and understanding your dreams. This is something that is a great tool that a lot of people have gotten into. It's a great way to develop your intuition. And for me, I find it just to be a fun way to further reflect on the imagery that goes through my mind during the dream state and how it might pertain to my personal life or help me during my waking life. And if nothing else, I just think it's a fun exploration. So here are the basics that I've learned about dream interpretation and how I use it for myself. First of all, if you go to bed at, a, at the proper time, which is typically being in bed, ideally asleep before 10 p.m., you are going to be more likely to hit in that realm of dream state, uh, the level of, of sleep in which dreaming actually occurs. And a great thing to do, no matter what time it is that you go to bed, is to just have a piece of paper and pencil next to your bed, or maybe you know have a file on your phone, or keep a dream journal. A lot of people are big fans of dream journal. And when you do remember a dream, especially when you first wake up in the morning, take just a couple of moments to reflect over what dream you can remember, what bits and pieces you can remember. Now, I know if you dream at all like I dream, sometimes it doesn't really make sense and you can't really put all the pieces together or really write out a story like you would read a story of what was happening, but that's okay. Just jot down whatever you can remember. Pay attention to colors, pay attention to any kind of symbols, any kind of uh, numbers, all of that can hold significance or meaning that you could play around with and do deeper reflection to see how it pertains to you. Now, I have a dream symbol book that I love. I would recommend it, except for it's currently out of print. It's been out of print for like, I don't know, 20 plus years. I love it. It's my go-to. I look up anything that I can remember. If there was a rabbit jumping across the field, I look up rabbit. If I remember the grass being green, I will look up grass. I will look up green. If I remember there, if there was money in the dream, was it paper money? Money? Was it coins? Do I remember the amount of money? Um, anything like that, that you can pin down a color, an object, um, it even sound quality too. Like if there was a song that you remember playing, uh, playing in the background, or you woke up singing, all of this can be insights into your subconscious mind. And some say that your subconscious self or your intuitive self, your soul self, or your divine self can be sending you messages and guidance through your dreams that can help you during your waking day. Research that all you want. There's science that backs it up. There's plenty of people that are really big into it. To me, I take it like I take all of this stuff in that unseen realm. I use it as an opportunity to stay curious, to be reflective, and to consider things from a different perspective uh, versus it being a be all and all predictory tool that I can use in my life. I just find it to be a fun exploration. And I will tell you this as well. Anytime that I do remember my dreams, anytime that I do look up what those symbols mean, those symbols mean, there is always significance, there is always resonance, there is always some kind of deeper insight that I am gifted with or can take away and can reflect on. So I highly encourage you to do this. Um, if you don't have a dream symbol book, we are in a day and age currently that we can Google these things or look it up on YouTube and different databases that we can search online to just say, what's the spiritual meaning behind a bear? Or what's the symbolism behind a cross? And even if you think you know what that means, still look it up. Sometimes it has some information that can, can, that can be insightful. Again, colors are significant. Numbers are significant. Um, any little detail that pops out, research it and see what comes back. And if you have a dream that you would like for me to interpret for you, reach out to me, we'll connect and I will get that taken care of for you. All right. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was. Drop some comments below. Let me know, do you work with dreams? What are your techniques on it? And how have you developed it to be a tool in your life? All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing and sharing this video if you found it of value and I will see you again soon. Bye.